Welcome to the Food and Wine channel and today we are at the 12 Apostles Hotel and Spa in Cape Town, South Africa. And with me here is Mr. Michael Nell, the Deputy General Manager of the hotel itself. That's right. Michael, welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, lovely to have you here. Uh, thank you for joining us on this fantastic day in Cape Town. Michael, you know, I, I feel honored to be in your presence and in the, you know, in the majestic, amazing place surrounded by the mountain and the sea. It's such an honor and I think you have a beautiful place here. Thank you. Um, it's, it's really incredible. And um, again, Michael, you, you, are, you are the Deputy General Manager of the hotel and I think it's an incredible position to have. What does your role involve in 12 Apostle? Well, just about everything. Anything <laughs> you can think that needs to happen with a guest uh, is, is my responsibility. Um, you know, I, I explain to, to our staff when they start working here um, that, you know, running a hotel is, is, is like a theater show. Mm. Um, you know, when the guests arrive in the front of the hotel and the car drives up there, the doorman opens the door, it's like the curtains opening in the, in the theater. Wow, that's a that, fascinating way to look at it. That's when we start acting, um, wow. but it's a genuine act. It's, you know, we're really happy to have people here. They come from far away uh, to come and spend mm. their time and their money with us. Mm. The least we can do is give them that experience. Wow, I like that description. It's like theater. But the difference is that there are no second chances for you There's to, no. you either do it right the first time and, and, and you've made the impression. Absolutely. Yeah. You are rated one of the, or maybe a top rated hotel in, in Cape Town and maybe who knows in the world. Yeah, look, I mean, the hotel has won many, many awards uh, over the years and uh, we are we're very fortunate that you know, we have the best location. Um, you know, we have the ocean, we have the mountain. Yes. You know, there's so many activities that we can do in and around the hotel. Yeah. You know, we, we perfectly, we, we cater well for families, uh, the activities that have, we have for children with our in-house cinema. Wow. You know, we, we have so many options here at the hotel wow. um, for families and for, for, for special occasions. You know, we're a very, very good hotel for special occasions. Every, every day when I go through my arrivals for the day, there's always someone that's either on a honeymoon or anniversary or their 50th birthday. There's always something happening that's exciting. And that's, wow. that's the good part of working wow. in a hotel like this. Wow, and it, and it should be amazing for you that you could be able to offer your guests an experience like that. that that's what it's all about. Yeah. You know, earlier we spoke to, about, to the chef about you know, his philosophy. Uh, and the same carries through to the rest of the hotel. You know, a five-star hotel is a five-star hotel. Yes. It could be anywhere in the world, yes. right? So we all have flat screen TVs, underfloor heating, all of that stuff, that's, that comes standard. <laughs> but it's that, it's that experience that you cannot get anywhere else that, yes. re, that your sets us apart. Your unique proposition. Definitely. Your unique proposition. And that's what it. would you say would be your unique proposition as Trump Apostles? Well, I think the first thing is the obvious one is the location. Yes, um, we're blessed with it. Look, we have, we have the Atlantic Ocean in the front. We have the, we're in the Table Mountain Nature, uh, Nature Reserve, which is not something that anybody else can say in mm. Cape Town. Mm. You know, you go up the cable car and yes. you can actually look down and you see the hotel at the bottom there. Wow. Um, so, you know, that is, is our, our biggest selling point of the hotel. That's what puts us apart mm. from the rest of the, the competition. Mm. But that's only one thing, yes. you know, that is only, and that's a preference. Yes. You might like to be in the city, yes. I might want to be out the city. Yeah. Um, so the only other thing that can truly set us apart is our staff. Um, you know, the, the, the genuine warm hospitality that we give mm. every single guest yes. is the only thing that can set us apart. And I must say I experienced it this morning when we walked in that even at the door, you know, as I entered the port, everybody knew where I wanted to go. I just said, I'm going to this place. And it's like they knew or they were expecting me. And I thought Absolutely. that's incredible. You know, they never had to go to reception and say what's happening where she says this. And, yeah. and that's incredible. That, that's, yeah, that's first it. impressions. And yeah, congratulations about that. Thank you. Coming back to the subject itself, the Cape Legends Inter Hotel Challenge. Yes. Are you ready for that in 2014? Look, uh, we were born ready. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this. <laughs> but um, being born takes nine months, so it takes a while <laughs> for us to get ready for that, for that moment. Wow. Last year, obviously, uh, we did very well. You know, Oscar, our, our Canada chef, came second, which was amazing. 
amazing opportunity for him, you know, and we're so, so proud of him. Uh, and this year we've entered our sommelier Brian in again, or our, our wine steward Brian yes. in again. Yes. Um, just, you know, the, the, the motivation and the experience that they received yeah. last year going through that whole process. Mm. I tell you, you cannot, nobody can teach anybody that. Wow. It cannot come from a book. Yeah. Uh, it only comes through experience yeah. and experience comes with time. Yeah. Um, and these guys put in the time, they put in the hours of training and practicing their dishes and Brian practicing, you know, the pouring the wine and the, the tasting notes and all of that. So, mm. you know, they put in the time mm and they get the reward for that wow. by being able to compete. And Annette has done a fantastic job with this. She's yeah. amazing. She is truly an amazing person. Yeah. You know, when she approached us last year yes. uh, to say, listen, she's got this idea. Yes. Uh, and she says she wants to, to give back um, to, to some of some of the hospitality staff out there. Yes, yes. And we thought it was an amazing opportunity. Yeah. And it's I think, actually humbling as well. I think every hotel, I don't think there's a single hotel that went, oh, I don't think so, maybe not, I don't think it'll work. Everybody went, this is, we have to do this, this is the right thing to do. And, and uh, you know, the experience that that gives to the staff that are entering the competitions is, as I said, you, yeah. you can't, you can't. Yeah, I must say, Shokuk is really doing an incredible job, you know, in terms of skills development, you know, the growth as well of, of the, the up, up and coming chefs and sommeliers. Mm. And, and would you think, do you think by now they are achieving their objective? Do you think it's Absolutely. working Absolutely. I mean, really it's, well? it was only the first year and already we've seen so much difference. You know, yeah. these candidates, have, when they came back from yes. the competition, you know, they were very proud. Mm. Um, they were more outgoing. Yes. They, they felt more relaxed with, with, within their wow. teams, with the guests. You know, and ultimately, even though this is for the staff and for their progression and, yes. and their careers, mm -hmm. the ultimate beneficiary is the guest yes. that comes to stay here because they get to, to experience the service from Brian yeah. or the food from Oscar. Wow. Um, so ultimately, it's the guest that, that gets the, the final experience. Yeah. Uh, and that, that, is, that is the true, true measuring tool. And I also think, you know, for, for you as management, you would be proud of yourself. I mean, listening to some of the stories from your staff, you know, that I started in this gallery, I didn't have a job, and, you know, look at what the chef has done with me, the skills I have. You must be feeling very proud. It is a, it's a very humbling experience yeah. to see someone come from cleaning the pots in the scullery yes. to actually producing some food on a plate that looks like artwork. Wow. You know, so that, that is the, that's the humbling experience. You stand there, you know, and their chest comes out a little bit further. You know, they present this plate of food. The judges love it. You know, they feel, they feel so much better about themselves. And us in the background, you know, you can just imagine how proud we are seeing that, you know, they are producing what they are. Hmm. I really call it a miracle when you see, when you, when you give. Um, that there's always beautiful spin-offs to that. You always see uh, improvement when you give of yourself. Annette gave of herself with the show cook thing. You are giving yeah. of yourself with the support that you're giving to your team to ensure that this, it's not necessarily about the competition itself. It's yeah. about achieving a very important objective, growth Precisely. and development, skills development there. And I think, you know what, it's, it has been a beautiful journey and uh, are you ready again i'm gonna ask for 2014 because everybody is ready out there and yeah. they cannot wait to take the prize absolutely and, yeah no it's 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 still it's still in progress you know i don't think that we can sit back and go i think we're ready now yes you know the the chefs the asanda our candidate this year is putting in the hard work now you know he's doing his training he's you know practicing every day with yes. with christo yes. uh brian with the help of gregory yes. you know he's getting his notes he's getting to you know getting more comfortable with with what is going to be presented on the day so I can't say that we, you will be ready until the day of the competition where you've actually completed it and you go, I've done the best I could. And what would you say to your competitors out there? What should they <laughs> be, be, be aware of? What's um, a word of warning to your competitors out look, there? Look, I think, um, uh, as the chef said earlier as well, we've sat down there, uh, we've observed, yes. we've taken note, yes. uh, we know exactly what the judges are looking for. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. We, we, we are definitely ready for it. Uh, and uh, with the knowledge we have from the first competition, yes. I think the, the competition is going to 
we have to be looking out. Look over their shoulders because we're coming. Well, your team as well is looking at you as, you know, the, um, the management. What word of advice or encouragement have you got for your team? Look, uh, the, the main thing is for them just to, to, to stay relaxed, calm. Um, uh, the work that they put in before the competition is going to pay off during the competition. Mm. So if, they, if they're going to put in the hard hours uh, and the time, then there's no reason why they can't succeed. Um, they've got the talent, that's why we chose them. Um, and for that reason, if, 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 if they put in a little bit of time, then they'll definitely win. Mm, without I like a doubt. that. I like that. You've heard it for yourself. Uh, candidates, my colonel is saying that there is no reason for you not to win. You have all the support you need to do your part. They have done their part and yours is just to take their award. With those words, Michael, I'd like to say thank you, thank you very for much, giving Michael. us the time to Wonderful. speak to you today. It has been an honor again. Uh, from the Food and Wine Channel, 12 Apostles, Cape Town, South Africa, this is Zodwa Shachwayo. Thank you.